Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today um, I'm going to be teaching you how to play the FNAF movie intro. Um, so it goes something like this. Okay, so I'm going to split this up into five parts, unless I have calculated wrong. That's unlikely because I'm good at maths. Um, so the first part goes like this. So to start off, we're going to start off with the right hand. So you go E, F, E, F, E, A. So you alternate between E and F. And then you go straight down to A. And then for the chords, you're going to play a C and an F. Hold that down. And then you're going to play an F and a G sharp. Or an A flat, it depends. However, I'm going to call it G sharp. So, going over that again. Alternate between E and F. Go down to A. C and F. F and G sharp. So together that sounds like And for the left hand down here So um, you go A And then you play a chord of E and A So play A as an octave Then forget about this A Move your pinky finger up here And then play that again And then play an E and A chord So, octave, pinky, double chord. So, so you play this part uh, twice, and then you go down a turn, and then instead of doing A, you do G sharp. So. Instead of doing E and A, you do E flat and G sharp. So, double octave, uh, not double octave, octave for G sharp, pinky back, pinky back up here, and then E flat and G sharp, double chord. So then together it sounds like this. So that's the first part. So for the second part, it just literally the same thing, just raised uh, semitone. Tone, semitone. So similar, but a bit different. So instead of alternating between E and F, you alternate between F and G. And instead of going down to A, you go down to B. C. So alternate between F and G and then go down to C and then play as a chord B and E and then B and D. So together that sounds like this. So for the left hand um, it's again same kind of pattern octave with an F Pinky back up here, and then C and F as a chord, twice. And then you play that part by, uh, twice, and then you play the same thing again, but with an E. Octave, pinky, B and E. So going over that again, that is an octave for F. Pinky up to F, and C and F as a chord, twice. Repeat that. Go down to E as an octave, uh, E as a pinky, and then B and E. So that should sound like. So together that sounds like this. And back 
to back, the first two parts of the song sound like this. Now I'm going to teach you the next part, which is actually the part that gets stuck in almost everyone's head. Um, so the right hand, it goes... Yeah, it's quite easy. So, yeah, so C, A, B, G sharp, literally, just that, all four as minims, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, um, so, and then, yeah, so that's the right hand, and for the left hand, you're doing the same thing, just inverted. So instead of playing C, you play A as an octave, alternating in octaves. Then you play C, B, and D. So A, C, B, D. So together, that sounds like this. And all three parts back to back sound like this. Now I'm going to move on to the fourth part, uh, fourth and final part. So it sounds um, like this in the right hand. Yeah, it's just the same. It's just the... Yeah, it's basically the third part just raised by one note. So in the third part you had C, A, B, G sharp. But in the fourth part you have... Uh, what's it called? D, B, C, A. And in the left hand, you have F octave, D octave, F again, and then you go down to E. So F, D, F, E. So that part, like this, uh, together, it sounds like this. And all four parts together sound like this. And then the third and fourth part, uh, they repeat again, so... that when you're playing the song the third and fourth part they repeat so basically part five and six are the same as part three and four and then again the first few parts first couple of parts they repeat but you can advance them so for example if i do a chord up here so e a and e again and then you can do f c and f G sharp, C and G sharp. F, C and F. And then E, B and E. D, B and E. And then uh, part th uh, three and four, they repeat again, but as octaves. So basically, all together, the entire song sounds like this.
yeah so um that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed if you want to learn the advanced like the entire advanced song uh you can click one of the videos that is on screen right now um that's it so thank you everyone for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye